Uh, Emily is not going to stand up and answer questions. The questions will not be kind. Um, okay, so Dublin for 2019, uh, starting with, uh, so you're talking about a thousand rooms at the moment, and I understand that you can't do anything more than, than give an estimate, but how many facilities do you think we're dealing with to get those thousand rooms as, as a guesstimate, because that's the best you can do, I understand. Uh, Currently, that thousand room is represented as 14 hotels. Okay. All right. Um, then the, uh, the membership projections that you had in your fact were, were detailed and wonderful. Um, listing about 4,500 attending is what you're hoping for, which seems a good number, and I, I would be quite proud to see an Irish Worldcon with that many people. Uh, at the same time, you mentioned that the, that the main event space seats 2,000, which might be smallish for that size Worldcon. Uh, and you mentioned that people have a choice to make. I wonder if you could talk a little bit more about what that uh, overflow situation is. So one of the things we want to do is we want to have a very friendly, flexible social space, which we're going to call the pub. And this can uh, at times accommodate around 800 people. And one of the traditional things we have in Ireland is we frequently watch large events on the telly in a pub, and we will be looking to televise uh, the Hugo boat into the pub, but also into a program space next door, which can accommodate around 600 people seated. So in other words, people can relax in a social environment, have a pint, enjoy the Hugos on a screen, or be in the main, main auditorium. Okay, thank you. Um, you that one? Why don't you take that one? Sure. All right. Uh, Someone's asking that since the electricity generation is principally from burning peat, will that affect air quality? I'm going to just jump in. I haven't been there in five years, but I lived there for nearly a decade, and I never had any air quality problems living in the Dublin area. So I'm, there's a lot of wind generation had been coming online, I thought. So I we, have, we have a variety of um, methods of making power in Ireland. I honestly cannot tell you if peat's the main one, but, um, but there is a... I would say air quality in Dublin is reasonable without doubt. You know, it's, it's, it's reasonable oh, yeah. without problems. So. Okay. All right. So the next question is, uh, most recently, when we were in that neck of the woods, we managed possibly the largest Worldcon ever, uh, which was amazing and fun. Um, you're right now budgeting it at like for, looking at 4,500. Could, if, if the wonderful things happen and you get Luncon size numbers, is there any way that you would fit? Or how could you fit if you need to grow? Uh, all right, I'll answer that one because I worked out a lot of the estimates. Um, we're not going to get to long con size numbers. In the, the entire population of Ireland is a fraction of the population of London. We had over 10, 11 million people to call on in London. We had a huge number of local members. So you're not going to get to long con size. But we are attracting the same sort of numbers from internationally. Uh, from, that, from the number of friends that Tammy talked about, we are online with what L London did at this stage in its bid. So we are looking again the same sort of numbers from the US, from Australia, from Canada, and probably a, a chunk more from Europe. What we won't get is the, lo the locals. I'm going to ask you the question. Well, it's the scooter rental availability, and then the ter urban terrain is the follow-up on that for. We'll be investigating uh, the scooter rental situation. We've already had uh, a team go and have a look at the access elements to our venue. Uh, the terrain around the centre is quite good. Um, also, 400 metres away, we have a tram system, which we call the Lewis, and uh, that has, uh, that's accessible for wheelchair users and, and mobility scooters. So that then can also transport you quite easily around the city. Um, we'll have to you know, investigate further actually acquiring the scooters. But getting around Dublin is not a problem. All right. Um, then two final questions. Uh, number one, uh, will the Dublin subway system be complete or which parts will be finished by 2019, per particularly near the convention centre? Uh, the Lewis already runs the convention centre. That's the red line. Uh, there is a new line being constructed, uh, which is north-south, which will be completed by 2017. And this is a little, I believe it's going to be the Lewis Blue Line, although that hasn't been confirmed yet. But those are on, those, those are ground level. Those transport. are ground level. It's those a street level tram. It's yeah. very convenient. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then a repeat of something that's happened before. Uh, what is your, the, what is the, this Irish bid doing to uh, reach out to local Irish fans and con runners and get them involved in volunteering and attending? Well, like, 
the, the truth of the matter is, is that Ireland is, uh, is, is not a, a huge country and there is connectivity among many of the different fandoms. Uh, in this year alone, we've seen people who are involved with the convention bid, uh, who are all has, have also been involved with the largest gaming conventions, the National Science Fiction Convention, and some of the anime conventions involved with our activities. We went to the uh, Dublin City Comic Convention where 15,000 people attended, and we gave away free books. We need to stretch out more, we recognize we want to get in touch with all the people around Ireland, all the conventions, and letting them know about what we're doing. But at the moment, there's quite a high level of connectivity between us and the other organizations uh, in the actual country. All right, thank you, and that's Q&A time for Dublin. Oh, wait, wait. You got Just a note, if, if you'd like to learn more about the Dublin bid or become a supporter if you're not already, please join us for breakfast in the con suite tomorrow morning. We'll be bringing you scones with jam, Irish jam. Uh, uh, Irish soda bread with butter and a uh, crisps sandwich buffet. So if you've never had a crisp sandwich, come tomorrow and find out how Time. to make one. Time. Let's go. All right. That'll be Tato's chips. <laughs>